OFXB, welcome to my channel. Please like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Raspberry Pi, your 705, and a screen in your go bag. Let's go do some WFU HF. M0FXB, so a big thank you to Troy Greenberg who posted a video using the 70, ICOM 705 with WFU, but doing it wirelessly just using uh, a Raspberry Pi, which I think is excellent. So I've gone to the video link here, and the Facebook link will be in the description as well. Watched it, and for me, it's a good video, but it's a video uh, based around someone that is quite knowledgeable on the the Linux system um, mainly. So what I've put together is I've made I've I have been able to do this. It's taken me quite a few days to to do this, and I've been asking for help from Troy and from. Um, other people. So the other person that I found very helpful uh, with the Pulse Audio side was K4MACK plus lots of trial and error, just me, lots of trial and error until I eventually got it right. So uh, we're going to show you how we can basically use our 705, a Raspberry Pi, a monitor, um, and just chuck it in our go bag and, uh, and use WFU and R705 completely wireless. All we need is an antenna. So uh, enjoy. I hope you enjoy the uh, the rest of the video. And thank you very much to WFU, of course. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. If you like my channel, please subscribe. So WFUorg.org. Most of us have heard of this program. And we're going to try and install it on our Raspberry Pi Zero version 2. So we've come to this section here in the download section. I'll put link in the description. And it says here GitLab. So we're going to click that. And when we do, we get to this. And we're going to follow these instructions. Download this file to downloads. So open a terminal. Well, we can do that. We've got our Raspberry Pi set up here. And there's a separate video which I'll put in the description on how to set up and have Raspberry Pi desktop on your Raspberry Pi that you've got lying around. So I'm very new to this, and that's why I'm doing it uh, in this way, because I think this will appeal to people that have never done this before, ever. So, back here, and it says here, open a terminal. So we've just done that by clicking at the top here. Next one down, type these commands without the S. So forget the little S there. So I'm going to copy that. Should we copy it properly? Copy. And then I'm going to go back to the... I'm using VN... Is it VNC Viewer? VNC Viewer to view my Raspberry Pi, which is not connected to this computer, but I have connected it via Wi-Fi. So we'll go paste... And let's hit enter, right? And then it shows that window. Then we're going to do the next one down. Okay. Here it goes. We've got that. So we're going to copy this. Copy. Click VNC viewer again. Let's shut that one down. We don't need that one. Oh, actually, better not. I might show everything. <laughs> right. So, and then we're going to paste. Paste. Okay. And then we're going to go enter. Right. Okay. No errors yet. Oh, hang on. Cannot access full build WFUSH. No such file or directory. So maybe we have to load something first. So that's fine. Let's try. Let's keep trying. Minimize that. Like so. Let's, let's try this one. We're doing what it says to us. We're going to try this. Copy. And then we're going to go like this. Paste. Let's see what that does. No such file. Right, fair enough. Now, what we're going to do now is go back to W here, and we're going to actually copy and paste this whole thing here. Copy. Yeah? Um, back to VNC. Open here. Paste. Enter. Again, it keeps saying the same error. But now we're going to try this whole thing here. We're going to right click, copy link address. We're going to go to here. We're going to put in WGET apparently, space. 
and paste. Hit enter. Right. So it says we've got the W, the whole build there. Right. Saved. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to start pasting again those other things. Download the file. Open terminal. Copy these commands without the S. So if now do we have to just connect them all? Because they look the same as the other commands. So I'm going to copy them. Copy the whole lot. I won't let me copy the whole lot. So let's should we do one line at a time? Because it looks to me like this th this bit of script here is the same as this here, isn't it? Let's minimize. Uh, move that across. There's that script there. Now let's look at this other page here. Now this section here and this section here. CD downloads. CM, yeah. <coughs> that is the same. <coughs> so what I'll, I want to know is what am I doing wrong? So I'll try the whole lot and if it doesn't work, without errors there is some text below here we'll try the whole lot and then we'll see it says here about doing this section here up this updated section so let's try it let's try the whole lot like I said I'm learning this but it's fun doing it paste enter so we do get the errors so oh, so now if we look here let's have a look if we look here, it says, if there are errors, use this command. Download a newer version of script. So we type all of this, wget. Right, we're going to copy that. Copy. Uh, go back to viewer. Paste. Enter. So, okay, well it says 100%, can't see any errors there, so what does it tell us to do next? The sudo command is used to run some app commands as root. The sudo command will ask for your password during this process. You should look at the source of the script if you have any doubts. Do you wish to install dependencies first? If this is your first time building WFU, please select yes, otherwise press no. If you are not sure, uh, so press yes to install dependencies. Okay, now let's open it. Have we got the option to click yes? We haven't really got a yes or no here, have we? Connected, build, full build. So now do you think we have to re now put this piece here in? Again, let's just check it hasn't installed. So we go start, it normally installs in sound. So there's nothing there at the moment. So now let's let's do this bit here oh, again. And I keep losing it. So downloads. Blah blah blah. Keep going down. There's the command. So as far as I can see, um, go back to VNC viewer paste hit enter right this one is, is is asking me those questions so that's good so let's move over we've got a, a thing there to say yes all right so let's just do what it says carefully did 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 it's saying all the talk plus yes right okay and we're gonna go yes why enter and it's saying that Mm -mm -mm. Upgraded building done done. This all looks good. Finished fetched toy fetched here. So that look I like all that. Um, and it ends reading database. So I think that's actually going to work. And then we'll move on in the next part of the video. We'll move on to actually setting up WFU wireless with our ICOM 705. There you 
Don't forget, I'm new to Linux. I don't hardly know anything about Linux. Look back at my videos and you'll see the ones where I've installed um, Raspberry Pi onto my Pi Zero, which now, if you get the version 2, you get the £16 delivered. Uh, check out um, Pi Hut. D -d 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 wow, it's really doing a lot, isn't it? <clears throat> so, once we get to the end, uh, installing, done installing, now the latest code. I, I think we're just following it through now, aren't we? Right, okay. So we're just going to follow it through to the end. And, um, and I'll let you know. Let's do a full page here. There we go. Might as well leave it live. Uh, so going well. So it's quite a lot, isn't it? So the next section is we can boot up WFU on the actual Pi. Then it's configuration of settings on the 705, which I'll do in a, I'll link it to this video. And then the idea is then we can link the 705 wirelessly with the um, WFU, so no cables basically. But yeah, we've got a Raspberry Pi running, but you can boot that up on a little micro USB, yeah? And there's no, the only wire you're gonna have is that connected to a five volt supply. Which technically, if you think about it, there's, is, there's a five volt coming out of the 705, isn't there? Uh, I know you can charge the 705 with a micro USB and I'm sure you can tell that to send the, send the power outwards. I'm sure you can. Right, anyway, please install independencies. P press enter to download WFU source code. So we're going to enter. Press enter to start. It's quite a lot, isn't it? I mean, the people that write these programs work. The skills they've got are amazing, aren't they? So has it stopped? How do we know when it stops? Okay. I'm just sort of waiting. So I think what I'll do, I'll end the video here. If there is more... I'll start the video again. I'm not going to risk pushing the escape button because I don't want to interfere with this program. So thanks for watching. Yeah, so we did have to sort of wait longer for it. It's still doing it now while it's building the program. So we do need to wait quite a while. I think give it at least 10 minutes, I would say. So we're going to add pulse audio. We can thank um, KM for ACK for that. I pinched that from the beginning of one of his videos. And he's got the, the link here, which, where is it? Uh, he's got quite a few tips here. But anyway, start pulse audio times 11. So let's hope that runs. And he's added a section here saying you do need to add a bit more so it boots. And now I'm not really knowledgeable on this, but it says it here, slash etc slash rc dot local file. So I might run it and then run it again and put that in front and just see if it does do that. But um, anyway, let's just put in what he said, and then let's hit enter, and let's, fingers crossed, it loads. No, let's just watch what he did, and see how he made it load. It's really important that, if you haven't done this already, that you connect your 705 access point to the Raspberry Pi. So go into the Raspberry Pi, Look in the menu where it says Wi-Fi, I'll show you. So look here, and then get your mouse up to the Wi-Fi section, and then that should be where you connected to your 705. Now I've named it 705 to find it easy. You don't want it connecting to your router 
at home. This so that means you won't have internet unless you're clever and you know how to. But you're going to have a connection. Your access the seven hundred five is an access point, so it's it's allowing the Raspberry Pi to connect to the seven hundred five. Really important. Okay, so we've got it working finally. A few more settings to do. Uh, the remote settings on the 705 are quite important but you can see it's working I just got to configure the audio I'll just show you what it looks like on the actual radio when it's connected so on the radio hopefully it's not too glary when it's connected you have yeah you have wireless LAN here um, but it actually says the word wireless LAN when you're actually connected now I'll just show you the settings so just go menu set wireless LAN so connection type is access point. Obviously the wireless LAN has to be turned on. Connection settings. Um, so I've set the SSID as ICOM705 and I have a password. That's for the Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi on your Raspberry Pi needs to be connected to this. When you actually connect to the um, WF view, when it sort of connects the sort of waterfall and the frequencies and the radio control you actually collect, connect to something different you go further down to net remote settings and your network one you need to put in I put in M0FXB and a different you know, another password I use the same password so the when you're doing I'll show you which settings when you're doing the settings here where it says host name you need to get the M0FXB here and the password in the remote settings this IP address I'll show you where that is that's already in the radio and even the 5001 that's already in the radio you definitely need to set um, network here don't touch any of this you definitely need to set network and remember I haven't quite got the audio settings selected yet when you do connect what you'll find is this comes to life here where the data is going back and forth so just that's all the settings that I've actually done there so have a good look and we've got the latency at the moment set at 270 270 then here we've got ULA 8-bit uh, now these I've been getting these settings from Troy now I haven't installed the audio part of this yet but I wanted to show you that I finally got it working and all we're using is a Raspberry Pi 3B. Um, yeah, I've got it plugged into my home monitor because I found that once I tried to use VNC viewer, it became a bit too complicated because it took, it just, I just found it very complicated. So I just went back to having a little, the whole point of this is that you can take your Raspberry Pi with you and then a small Raspberry Pi and a little small screen, four or five inch screen, chuck it in your go bag with your 705 and you've got WF view. So the configuration, if you're going to use VNC viewer, say you had a laptop, um, would be important, but I haven't, you know, that just, that just for me made it very complicated. So let me know the answer to that. So, uh, yeah, for now, um, we'll go on to the audio settings and I'll just quickly show you again, the 705 settings. So we'll just go back to the top like so back to the top yeah right at the top so these haven't been changed these ones here remote settings all I've done is added in network user number one a username and a password that's all I've done go back and then wireless LAN obviously it's on you have to change the app you choose access point but to change the settings in access point you turn off wireless LAN and then it, when you tap this tap this it won't be great it won't be grayed out I'm oh, sorry the connection settings will allow you to change them and look there's the IP address 192 try and get this in 192.168.59.1 and that's in there by default anyway so uh, let's keep looking at this and hopefully we've got there Andrew FXB right so um, we've got this working now and we've got the audio working we've installed pulse audio instructions in the video now if we change the frequency on the radio, you can see it's moving on the screen. I've checked the PTT. And now if we just go away from those people. 
M0 FXB, M0 FXB, M0 FXB, and it's TXing, and you can see it there. Now we have all kinds of controls here, but the main thing is that this is all being run. I've got one in my hand by a Raspberry Pi, which effectively can connect to any monitor. So what is the point of, of doing this with WFU and having a wireless connection? There's no wires on this radio at all, apart from the antenna, of course. So look, there are no wires, no wires. So what's the appeal? Well, we can just take a radio like the 705 and a Raspberry Pi, and we could take the, the larger 3B version and a monitor, a small a monitor, but not too small. Yeah, bigger than than the screen of the 705, otherwise there's no point. But the main thing is that we can move the monitor around. So I think that's the appeal for this. Raspberry Pi in your go bag. 705 or hopefully other radios. That we can change bands, let's just change bands. There you go. And you'll see all the setup process before this. Um, and you've got this really portable setup with this and there's a lot more there's a there's a lot of controls in the WFU system and it's free um, so you've got your frequency these are presets you've got your bands settings here now I've shown them earlier but I'll just show you them again we've selected as the output we've selected HDMI card at the moment audio input is jack you can see the settings here ULOR 1CH 8 bit on both I've showed you the settings already for this section and network We've got frequency here band you've got the main view and we can even turn the radio off I actually I haven't actually tried to do this but I think we can actually turn the radio on and off so We've got tuning dial here, different modes here. Um, what else? Filters, we can select different filters. We've got volume here, AF, squelch, TX, all sorts of things. Transmit, tune, repeater. The main thing is we've got a lot of controls here. So just to end the video, I'll say thanks to everyone at the end of the video that's helped me do this and let's turn off the radio is it going to let me do that? <laughs> oh, oh, wrong button, what an idiot power, I mean it is a bit laggy power down the radio, yes there you are, 7-3, catch you on air Please like and subscribe my channel, all the best.